Y you know you don't have to be honest. Getting in there, not with those turrets in place. Generator here. Sounds like that did the trick. Shit. We didn't get all of them. Gotta be another generator somewhere. I'll tell you one. A bunch of renegade scientists didn't build this alone. I'll be right there! Get up! Right. 
That did it. Now you ready to get some answers? More than ready. One big difference between this place and New Hope. They weren't worried about getting found. No fake shipping depot, no front. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day oh uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think Explain that welcome home. Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little garbage can. Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Let's get back to that garbage can. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. you explaining this oh nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident Dell, these tanks same as the ones at new hope yeah i noticed ah yes my work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung but it grew into something far more significant the cog wanted medicine i gave them gods oh well water under the bridge This way. 
So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. What the hell? The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile, a problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. Or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Reyna. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey. What are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Or maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. 
Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather, who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. is quite handy. Hey, watch it, don't Fix it. Well, you do make a lovely couple. Would you please follow me? have your life's work turn on you. I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe, Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. Sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. 
I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. She's alive. What? I mean, it wasn't really her, except... Except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown. In effect. Come on. He went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on!
nothing but freeze if we don't lift this lockdown. Shit! I think this was Niles! Then slap his hand on that scanner! Put this whole place in a deep freeze right before he bled to death. Good fucking prince. Uh, Del? The matriarch is... gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Let's just find Niles, come on. Freeing the matriarch was unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! <clears throat> Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. <laughs>
Jack, see where that leads. Okay, more locusts are coming. Then hold them off. Hey, Jack, don't take your time on this. Time to go. Keep after Niles. Come on. Hey, Niles, we're still coming. I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care. open.
that thing's mind? I don't know... I don't know whose mind it was. But it was angry. 